Alright guys, alright so in this series what we're going to do is we're going to walk through the creation of uh, this particular cabinet uh, prop here. What I'm doing is I'm going through and uh, I, I went and got a bunch of reference of the interior of the Firewatch Tower and so uh, I'm, what I'm going to do, what we're going to do in this video is concentrate on the cabinet here that they have but I'm going to go through and uh, make all these props uh, into procedural um, tools that we can go and just generate lots of variations of all these things like even the rugs and the bed, uh, a trash can with um, actual rigid body stuff that we can just like throw a bunch of junk in there and just let it settle. So we're going to do all that stuff. Um, so yeah, anyways, we're going to start with, uh, this cabinet here and try to and make it so that we can get uh, all these variations. You can see they have a bunch of different variations between all the towers that they had in the game. So we want to have that sort of, uh, control. And we're going to go through and using Houdini engine version two, we're going to go through and create um, all the uh, these tweaks that you see here that allows us to create almost an unlimited amount of variations for our particular uh, counter object here. And uh, basically, I'm going to walk you guys through um, how I built this whole thing. It's all you know procedurally UV'd and everything like that. So all the UVs are there. And uh, we're going to go walk through and learn how to create these overrides here that allows us to go and you know add more um, cabinet areas, but then, you know, we can dive into the individual cabinet sections here. And let's say, you know, I want to change uh, the doors here on primitive zero uh, to back to drawers and then change that drawer count to something like four or five, like so, or even two, right? And then we can go to like primitive one. We can go and change that to doors and make it like a double door, like so. And then maybe primitive two is just single door and then we can add another override over here and that's primitive three so change that to like five drawers right so lots and lots of uh, tweaks uh, and then we're going to go through and set up our colors and i'm going to walk you through every single uh, step so uh, we don't leave anything out again we're using uh, houdini engine version two the latest so um, i would go up to the uh, wiki. So if you just type in Houdini Engine uh, version 2. One sec, I'm just going to bring it over here for you guys. All right. What you need to do um, is you need to go to the releases. It's kind of hidden. So you just go to releases. And then all the way down at the bottom here. So this is the latest version. This is the official release. Um, you want to go and get your version for your particular for uh, UE425 or UE426. So you just want to download this. Then when you actually have the uh, the binaries downloaded for Unreal for your version, basically you want to follow the install uh, directions. And uh, so you can just go to the documentation. Uh, if you go to, let's, yeah. So if you just go to the documentation here and then you go to getting started, uh, installing, you should note that Currently with the 18.5, it doesn't uh, copy the plug into the Unreal install folder anymore. Uh, I'm sure they're working on it. Uh, it's because there's V1 and V2 in there. So uh, what you need to do for the V2 plugin is just copy it to um, the particular uh, folders. All right. So you just want to copy it to your engines, plugins, runtime, Houdini engine folder. If you don't have the Houdini engine folder, um, when you extract the uh, binary file, so when you extract this particular file here, it will create that Houdini engine folder, and then you just need to move it uh, into your plugins runtime, wherever you installed uh, your uh, Unreal Engine. So anyways, that is that. So I just want to make sure everyone knows how to do that, just to get the engine. But uh, yeah, we're going to walk through this whole process and uh, from start to finish. So lots of cool pro tips in here. Uh, lots of cool uh, tips in getting procedural UVs um, and stuff I do on a regular basis uh, for these HDAs uh, when I'm at work, when I'm at, when I'm at my day job. All right. Thanks so much. Talk to you guys in a bit.